Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at how to mitigate the risk of weather hazards through monitoring, prediction, protection and planning, which can collectively be known as MP3. This is part of Paper 1, Unit A, The Challenge of Natural Hazards. Mitigating means to make something less severe, for example, reducing the damage caused to people and property. In terms of mitigating weather hazards, there are four stages to this. Firstly, we have monitoring, which is using scientific equipment to detect warning signs of events. We then have prediction, which uses historical evidence along with live data to estimate when and where a weather hazard might happen. We then have protection, which is designing buildings or structures that will withstand weather hazards. Finally, we have planning. This identifies and avoids places most at risk and helps people prepare for a disaster. It is useful to remember these as MP3. We're going to have a look at these in a bit more detail. So we'll start off by looking at monitoring and prediction. Scientists use a variety of methods to monitor and predict weather hazards. Tropical storms are monitored by satellites and aircraft to track their size, temperature and moisture, as well as wind speed and air pressure. The path of the storm is predicted using a track cone where scientists predict where it is likely to hit. 70% of all tropical storms hit within the track cone. Computers are also used out to give advance warnings. The USA also uses Hurricane Watch and Hurricane Warning. Hurricane Watch tells us that a hurricane may hit within 48 hours, whereas Hurricane Warning says it's likely to hit and gives us 36 hours warning. These are important as it enables people to make the necessary plans that we will have a look at in a moment. In terms of protection, there are lots of things that can be done. Many people protect their homes from tropical storms by reinforcing them. For example, putting shutters across the windows, securing roofs and doors with galvanised metal hurricane straps, building homes on stilts to protect from flooding, and tying down things like garden furniture or removing trees close to buildings. We can also build storm drains to remove excess rainfall quickly. We can build sea walls to help protect against storm surges. We can also restore mangrove forests which absorb excess water. Our last stage of risk mitigation is planning. In terms of planning, there are lots of plans that we can have to help with hazard events. There should be raised awareness amongst communities about what to do in a tropical storm. For example, in July, the USA has a hurricane preparedness week just ahead of hurricane season getting into full swing. Obvious advice for all natural hazards is to prepare for disaster in terms of stocking up with supply kits, with food, water, and also fuel. This is for transport and power supply, as well as knowing how and where to evacuate to. So for example, do you know where the official shelters are in your locality? That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on how to mitigate the risk of weather hazards through monitoring, prediction, protection and planning. Thank you for watching.